hello Kristran and channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So today's uh, journal that we are going to review is uh, the journal uh, what we call it as uh, Neuroquantology. So currently they say it is indexed in Scopus, also in the website they also show that it is in Clarity Analytics or Web of Science. So we are going to uh, identify the indexing of this journal and whether we can uh, submit the research paper or maybe review article to this uh, international journal and also we would uh, try to identify the publication time and the cost of this journal. Also there is one uh, such uh, clarification or doubt uh, that everybody has is whether this journal is indexed both in uh, Scopus and Web of Science. So that was a confusion that also we will try to review in this video. So I would rather request you not to skip any uh, portion of this video because we will have an intensive research whether we can submit a research paper to this particular uh, international journal. Also, we feel proud to say that uh, our channel is the only channel which gives bold uh, review about any international uh, journal or maybe Scopus or Web of Science or maybe ESA index journal. So, let us go straight to the review part. So, the name of the journal is uh, Neuroquantology. This is what I have searched in the Google. So, I am get, getting some search results. So, interestingly, the first search result is the original uh, website of this journal. It is www.neuroquantology.com. Even uh, it is displayed in the uh, Google uh, review page as well. And uh, we have we can have about journal, archives, current uh, issue, author guidelines as well. And there is also another search result. It is from sciimagojr.com. Okay. Uh, in Wikipedia also they have given uh, about neuroquantology and Scopus also there is. Okay. So also there we have like several uh, websites as well like uh, uh, ejmanager.com. Okay. So there they have given about uh, neuroquantology. Okay. So also they have given um, uh, neuroquantology, impact factor and key uh, scientometrics as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to go into the uh, straight into the website. Okay. So it is neuroquantology.com. So it shows that it is an interdisciplinary journal of neuroscience and quantum physics. Okay. So uh, in the uh, scroll or maybe in the display section, they have given it to be clarative analytics. Uh, maybe after some few seconds, you will see uh, uh, you know clarative analytics as well. But definitely they are uh, indexed in Scopus as well. So the publisher they have given to be Anka Publisher. So you can see the same here uh, as well. Anka Publisher. Okay. So they have given uh, uh, all the information about this particular journal. Okay. So they have given the EJM, okay, how to submit the article, how to track your article. They have given the editorial board section, archives, current archives as well, author guidelines as well. So you can go through each one of them. And also in the Scopus page, they have given it is Q3. Okay. So what we are going to do? We are going to go into the uh, maybe the current session, okay. So you will have all the information about the current issue. So the current issue is actually volume 20, issue number 5, 2022 and several PDFs have been displayed. So you can actually see the format about that uh, uh, research article, how it has been published, okay. Uh, also you can see the editorial board section as well. So they have given uh, editorial board. Uh, everything they have given is in the clickable format. So you can view information about this uh, particular uh, editorial board. Okay. Also, there is a section called uh, for author section. So they have given the guidelines. Okay. So the type of contribution, reviews, original articles, short communication, perspective, and tutorials. Okay. Also, uh, like a review articles, also they have given some information about the articles. Okay. So they have given. Uh, generally, like um, uh, maybe they can get advantage of the 3D animation, uh, video as well as sound as well. And definitely a paper should have a title page, abstract, introduction, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion, outlook, acknowledgements, abbreviation list and references as well. So they have given a description about each and everything. You can go through them if you want to. And also uh, keywords also plays an important part and you can go through the references section. So how? You should include uh, a particular format when you type the references. Okay, so that they have given. Also, if you are referring to the book sample or maybe web references or maybe mathematics and symbols, even for drawing images, so they have given some guidelines. Okay, also they are expecting 
only the doc or the rtf uh, files uh, okay and uh, maybe you can also prepare articles using uh, mittex mittex as well as scientific workplace as well so this is how the process goes into and they are giving the common errors what the authors will try to make as well okay so uh, these all the information you can see in this uh, uh, section for author section and you also have a section called submit uh, now okay so which requires you have to register first of all and then you have to log in okay and uh, you can also go for the call for submission sections this is the most important section because everybody will be asking whether i can submit a mechanical uh, paper to this journal whether i can submit a civil department to this uh, uh, paper to this particular journal so it is your responsibility to go through the topics okay for example they have given human brain related health diseases social behavior so you have given brain energetics health and diseases something related to uh, neuroscience physics as well and uh, even with the case of brain connectivity also they have given brain intelligence paradigms they have given cognitive information applications of brain computer interactions okay so they have given all these uh, topics if your research area falls into it then definitely you can submit a research paper or review article to this particular journal okay so what they are saying okay go through the uh, you know the author guidelines so uh, you will have all the information about it okay uh, also they have given a, a contact sec uh, section as well so they have given the principal contact okay so they have given some support contact as well mailing address is also given okay so uh, altogether we can say that it is actually a singapore based journal okay and uh, but they have not given any uh, um, contact number okay they have given the editor in chief from turkey but mailing address it's from singapore okay so um, you can email and ask them for any queries okay so generally as you can see from uh, it's uh, uh, actually based on neuroscience and quantum physics so if you have paper you can submit it okay so what we are going to do we are going to check in the scopus website so what we are going to do we are going to copy this neuro quantology okay so in the scopus okay so you are going to go to scopus.com okay so in the scopus.com uh, as usual you are going to go over the sources okay sources you you check that this is a title okay and in the title section you are going to enter neuro quantology so immediately i am getting a suggestion so you can go through the suggestion neuro quantology site score 1.3 highest percentile 22 percentage citations 1044 and you can see all the information related to it so i am just clicking on this neuro quantology i am getting all the information for example scopus coverage years from 2007 to present okay source home page they have displayed this is the best thing that we can find in a scopus index channel so when, are, when they are giving the source home page which means scopus is very much confident about the uh, source home page okay and there is also scopus content coverage as well so if you can go through the scopus content coverage you can see list of documents right from 2007 uh, on an average we can see 50 70 articles only in 2018 we had 389 documents okay and right now we are in uh, august okay so we have 27 documents so what we are going to do we are going to cross verify once again so there are 27 documents in this new doc ontology so we can go with the view at publisher section okay so there is uh, if you can see uh, the title is actually study some optical and structural properties this is what it goes neuroquantology.com and this is the article and they have displayed a, a doi number also okay so you can also go for seeing okay but uh, this doi uh, you can actually go with the uh, doi.org as well and uh, uh, whenever we click on this one it, it goes to the same page so this is this is what we get out of uh, uh, this particular journal okay so also um if we also go through uh, uh ej manager okay that is also uh, an uh, ej manager as well where they have displayed um, a section where you can go for login as well as uh, password as well okay so you can go through if you want to also if we go with the uh sci imago jr normally we take we uh, we uh, check the journal in Sai Imago JR. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for this new York ontology. So I'm getting the search result. It is Turkey. Okay. So H index is actually 21. The coverage is 2007 to 2021, but 2022 also we are getting the articles in the Scopus platform, which means that it is still in Scopus. The ISS number is displayed directly 13035150. And up to 2021, they have shown it is in Q4. Okay. But according to the field of atomic and molecular physics and optics, it is in Q3. Okay. So Q3 and Q4. Okay. Right. So also in the comment section, also um, we have some information as well. So you can uh, go through the comment section if you want to. Like, uh, I don't find much uh, negative about this uh, uh, journal as well. But some, they say it's a fake journal uh, because uh, they are collecting money and, and, and they are uh, publishing research articles. So as far as I have researched with the agents, so for the regular issue, they are charging roughly around um, 1 lakh 15,000 okay, in Indian rupees for publishing research article or maybe review article in the regular issue in this journal. And uh, if you take maybe for the special issue, they are charging around 15,000 in Indian rupees. So roughly you can say uh, approximately 300 US dollars for foreign others as well. And for the special issue, uh, they are uh, taking maximum 10 days, maximum 10 days for publication in this uh, international journal, the, the so-called reputed international journal. And um, I don't know for the regular issue, uh, generally uh, roughly around two, two months maximum they are taking for publication in this journal and they say that uh, it is uh, present in all the university uh, reputed annexures as well. So uh, that's the uh, positive about this journal because it has been indexed right from 2007 as well. So uh, they say it is also present in the annexures as well. So you can uh, uh, general, generally uh, uh, decide on to. And there's also another one question like uh, maybe this uh, uh, Neuroquantology journal in the website they have given uh, it is uh, they, they show the image of clarity analytics okay so uh, if you go to the home section if you just yeah you can see clarity analytics okay so that is the thing which uh, uh, confused me so what we are going to do we are also going to go with the uh, uh, cl uh, clarity analytics or maybe mjl okay so this is mjl.clarity.com so, we are going to copy this journal name, Neuroquantology, and we are going to uh, paste in this uh, mjl.clarity.com. So, okay, so, we are going to paste this uh, Neuroquantology, and if we search this journal name, I am not getting any search results. Okay. If I had made any mistake, okay, for example, let us take the case, I am going to go with Sai Okay. So, maybe I can also go with pasting the ISSN, no search result. For example, if I have forgot to include uh, maybe uh, a dash a symbol here, I can also search them, but I am not getting any search results. So, which means that it is currently in Scopus, but not in Web of Science, and also uh, it is present in, they say, they say it is present in various matches. So, it is currently in Scopus as well as in Annexus and definitely for the special issue around 15,000 in Indian rupees. For regular issue, 1 lakh 15,000 in Indian rupees. For the foreign others, uh, roughly for the special issue, they are charging around like uh, $300 and uh, uh, maybe um, with the case of uh, the regular issue, so roughly around um, uh, 1,000 uh, maybe 1,000, uh, 1,200 or so, okay, so they are charging for the foreign other services. So, you can actually decide, uh, also for the publication time, uh, for the special issue, roughly maximum 10 days for publication, for regular issue, maximum 2 months for publication. So, you can actually decide whether you have to uh, submit the research paper to this particular journal or not. So, if you have any clarifications, queries, you can uh, type them in the comment section. So I am sure that you would have enjoyed much about the review part about this uh, international journal. So you can feel free to share your experiences, 
your uh, clarifications, queries, if any, in the comment section. I would be happy to see them and uh, reply to your comments as well. And if you have to review any uh, reputed uh, SEA or Scopus or Web of Science uh, or maybe any international journal, you can feel free to type them in the comment section and uh, I will be definitely reviewing them as soon as possible. So dear subscribers, thank you once again for continuously supporting our channel. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe Christo Anand channel. Till then, I will be seeing you in the next video about an interesting review about an uh, international channel. Till then, collaboration.